Hey guys, so I recently bought a brand new 2021 14 inch MacBook Pro running the in house M1 Pro processor. However, when picking specs from a Mac, I noticed an option available for a 67 watts power adapter or a 96 watts power adapter, with the 96 watts adapter adding an additional 14 Singapore dollars in cost and promising a 0 to 50% charge in around 30 minutes. But I've been wondering, how much faster is the 96 watts adapter than the 67 watts adapter? And is it worth the slight increase in bulkiness and the additional $14? So I charge a MacBook Pro from 0 to 100% with each adapter to find out. Disclaimer, I do not have a 67 watts adapter, but I will be substituting that with a similar 61 watts Apple power adapter. Without further ado, let's roll the time-lapse footage. Do stay to the end of the video for a detailed analysis. in 
So, of course, the 96 watts adapter charged up my Mac faster than the 61 watts adapter. From the end results, it looks as if the 96 watts adapter is only 12 minutes faster than the 61 watts adapter. However, looking at the graph of the state of charge, also known as SOC, against time, we can see that the real gains from the 96 watts adapter are from the 0 to 50% charge time, which is over 10 minutes faster than the 61 watts adapter which can be incredibly useful when you realize you forgot to charge your Mac the night before, something that we can all relate to. After 50%, the two adapters charge at pretty much the same rate. This is even clearer when we look at the graph of the charging power against the state of charge, also known as the charging curve. We can see that the charging power rises to over 81 watts at 50% with the 96 watts adapter before falling quickly to match the speeds of the 61 watts adapter at around 70% due to the nature of lithium ion batteries and thermal constraints. In conclusion, I would highly recommend getting the 96 watts adapter. For $14, the fast charging to 60% is really useful and worth the money. And who would save $14 and miss fast charging on a MacBook which starts at nearly $3,000? Alright guys, I think that will be it for this video. This video took a really long time to film and edit, so do consider liking the video to show your support. And if you want to see more tech related content, do consider subscribing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.